In this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to dramatically increase your cold email response rates by learning how to follow up. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Patrick Dang here. Now, welcome to my channel where we're gonna talk about all things sales, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Before we go ahead and get started, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Now, when it comes to cold emailing, a lot of people out there, they're gonna send out their first cold email and be very disappointed when not many people respond to that first email. But here's the thing, guys, the magic is in the follow-up because if you are not following up with your prospects, you're missing out on a big opportunity to dramatically increase your response rate. So to break it down, here's the strategy we're gonna use to help you get your response rates up. Now, before we dive into the strategy, the first thing you gotta know when it comes to cold emailing and how to follow up is that you have to understand what your goal is. Now, for most of us who are doing any type of outbound cold email, our goal is simple get a meeting on the phone or in person with our potential customer. That is the only goal of a cold email and that's the strategy and mindset we're gonna follow throughout this entire video. Now, as we go ahead and dive into the strategy itself, this is my cold email outreach strategy. So as you can see here, these are a sequence of four different emails. The first email that you're gonna have is essentially you're doing your pitch of why this person should take a meeting with you and all you're really doing is asking for a meeting, right? Don't try to sell everything at once. All you're doing is piquing their interest and asking for a meeting to see if they want to learn more about how you can bring value to them. Now, for the people that don't respond, you're gonna have email number two. That's when you do your first follow-up. And usually I like to space out my follow-up between three to seven days of every email. So at every single time you follow up, each email have a space of three to seven days. Now, if the person doesn't respond to the first follow-up that you have, you follow up again. If they don't respond to that email, you follow up one more time, totaling a four email campaign. Now, the problem that most people have, especially if they're just starting out, is that they're gonna send their first email and they might get maybe a 3% response rate and be like, oh, this campaign doesn't work, I'm gonna try something new. But the thing is, they're missing out on a huge opportunity because every time you follow up, your response rate is going to increase. So here's an example of my response rate when I was a sales rep working in Silicon Valley. So the first email that I could send, sometimes I would get something like a 5% response rate, meaning if I send 100 emails, five people might respond. Now here's the magic part, because if 5% it's not super great, right? But when I follow up with these people three to seven days later, I get another 4% response rate totaling to nine. And then for the people that don't respond to my second email, I send them another follow-up and I might get a 6% response rate. Finally, when I do that third follow-up email, I might get another 3%. So if you add all these numbers together, if I do one campaign using this strategy, I might get something like an 18% response rate, meaning I send out 100 emails, 18 people respond, and then a percentage of those 18 people will actually take a meeting. And that's pretty decent. It's not the best campaign, right? This is like a realistic example, but it's pretty decent. So let's dive into the structure of how these emails are formatted so you know how you can do it. Now for email number one, I would recommend using one of my cold email templates. It's the pain formula. And I actually created a video on this and exactly, and I really broke it down step-by-step step on how you can use the pain formula to sell your own products and services. So the link is gonna be somewhere on the screen and in the description. But for the sake of this video, instead of talking about that first email, I wanna focus on the follow-up emails, the other three emails you're gonna to use to follow up and dramatically improve your response rates. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at email number two, right? So this is gonna be uh, the second email in the campaign, which is the first follow-up. So I might, you know, pitch something to Sally, say, hey, do you want to take a meeting with me or not? And then the Sally doesn't respond. So I might say, hey, Sally, I want to follow up to see if it still makes sense to talk about how we can help you with, and then insert whatever value you provide specific for your product and service by doing, and then how you deliver that value, right? And then from there you say, so if it still makes sense to talk, go ahead and schedule a time to talk on my calendar here. And then if you're using a tool like Calendly or any type of scheduling app where people can click a time on when they can schedule a meeting with you, then you would just put that link right there. Or if you don't have a link like that, you could say, hey, so let me know what your calendar looks like if it still makes sense to talk. However you wanna do it, it's up to you. I find that putting the link to your calendar is the easiest, but essentially this is the format that you wanna use in your first follow-up. You're not really writing an entire new sales pitch, you're just kind of summarizing what you said in the first email and asking to see if it still makes sense to talk. 
Now, after a few days, if Sally doesn't respond, right, three to seven days later, what you wanna do is you wanna send this person another follow-up email. And you might be wondering, okay, well, what do you write in that follow-up? And I'm gonna give you an example. So follow-up email number two, I might say, hey Sally, hope you're doing well. Now I'm checking in with you to see if you're still interested in insert desired outcome the prospect might want, right? What is their goal? Woof, and then put in how you would deliver that value. And then I would say, hey, if it still makes sense to talk, let me, you can schedule a time to talk on my calendar here. Put the link to your calendar right there. And you could also add, but if none of these times work for you, let me know what does and I'll do what I can to make it work. So the process works like this. Sally's gonna get this second follow-up from you, right? She's gonna read the follow-up and be like, what was this guy talking about again? Then they're gonna scroll up to the first email that you sent them and they're gonna check, okay, let's see what his pitch is all about. So Sally's gonna scroll up to see what all the other emails you sent were about, read your pitch again, and then make the split second decision on whether they want to take a meeting with you. And again, your follow-up is not to, you're not really writing entire sales pitch again. You already did that in the first email. The follow-up is just to get a reminder, just to get them to, you know, look at their email again and revisit that conversation. Now, here's the thing, guys. People don't respond to the second follow-up you send. So what you gotta do is send another follow-up, right? And this is usually the last one that I send. So I usually send one, uh, initial pitch and then three follow-ups totaling four emails total. So in the third follow-up, you kind of get the formula here. All you're really doing is rephrasing everything that you said in email number one, email number two, and email number three, right? And just spinning it in a different way and you're just changing the language, but you're pretty much talking about the same exact thing. And then from there at the end, all you say is, hey, if it still makes sense to talk, let me know what your calendar looks like or go ahead and schedule a time to talk on my calendar, whichever works for you better. And that's how you're gonna do your final follow-up. And it's pretty simple, right? The, each follow-up, they pretty much follow the same format. You're just paraphrasing the words and changing it up a little bit to make it sound different. But really, you're talking about the same exact thing. And I've literally sent thousands of these emails and it absolutely does work in all types of industries. So again, if you want to dramatically increase your response rate, don't give up after you send your first email and don't get the results you're looking for. Send at least four emails total following up three times to judge whether that campaign was a success or not. Once you do send those four emails, if the campaign didn't work, then go back to your original cold email and change it up or change who you're targeting, and then try again. But again, don't give up on that first email. You gotta send at least four. So with that said, that is pretty much how you can dramatically increase your response rates using the power of following up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell. And if you wanna take your sales game to the next level, make sure you click the link in the description where I have a free and depth training on how to sell anything to anyone. And if you haven't taken that training yet, I'm sure you're gonna love it. So with that said, my name is Patrick Day and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.